Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about manual J heat load calculation windows doors library. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so to begin with, we're going to start with the, you know, as usual, we need to find out if we have this HVAC tool, uh, toolbox. All right, and then also we're going to make sure that our grid system is good. So we're going to go to drawing and then check on the grid settings and we have everything 6, 6, 6 and 6. You can also have it as 12, 12, 12, 12, no problem, okay? So it's, this is just personal preference, all right? So now let's create a room. So if we're going to create a room, we have to go to this uh, room settings, okay? So we go here, I'm gonna make a room of say, yes, 12, 10 by 12, all right? We're gonna call this Control Z, we're gonna go to the pointer, Let's call this, for example, mm, first floor bedroom, okay? Uh, first floor bedroom, okay? All right, so as, as, we, uh, as we explained in the other video, we're able to move these tags. You click in here, you hold shift, and you can move it anywhere. There we go. It's just a trick, okay? So now, secondly, we can create another room, but first of all, since we already have the library for the ceiling, we have the library for the walls, and we have the library for the floors, walls, and ceiling, of course. Now we need, we, we can put all our properties to this first bedroom that we created. So in order to put the properties, we right click and we have the property sheet where you have the rooms, we have the wall, ceiling and floor. So since we did in the other video, this library is everything is ready. Okay, so we go to the rooms first and again, <coughs> excuse me, we go to the first floor bedroom included in the calculations. Yes, zone name, we have that room heating condition we're going to put this is by default air secondary hydronic we're going to put in here air only room cooling condition air only okay room type this doesn't matter you can leave it as order or you can have this but it doesn't matter just leave it ordered okay so room height it could be nine feet you could, it could be eight feet whichever is more uh, depending on the project okay internal loads we're going to do that later in the future but for in this case for a first floor bedroom we're going to put one occupant number of occupants one but we're going to be more specific in other videos okay so that list uh, that heat loss factor Say that this bedroom is going to be only a single home, so my units are going to be in the attic. So if my system is in the attic, we're going to put vented attic right here, vented attic, and we're going to have put we're going to put vented attic. Okay, so there we go. We have all this already completed. Now we're going to go to the wall. So in the wall, as we know, we're going to put in here exterior wall. So for the exterior wall, we already have our exterior wall at 15. You can always customize that depending on your library. Create your own library like we showed you in the other videos. This is mostly our example. Okay, exposed 2 by 4 R15. That's my ex exposed uh, value for the walls. For the ceiling, we're going to have ceiling the one that we created we're gonna put r38 in the attic and then for the floor we're gonna put the following we're gonna put a slab see a slab floor 10 we're gonna put a carpet there and then we're fine okay so we are already so this bedroom is already well defined so the reason we define this room already is because now we're gonna just copy paste we don't need to go back to the property sheet all the time every time right so in this case now what i'm gonna copy you can either do ctrl c and then ctrl v it's gonna show that and you just drag it next to it see and then with the arrows, you can go up and down next to it. There you go. And then what we're going to put in here is another name. Let's put this as a foyer. See? Foyer, foyer. There we go. And then we're going to make... Oh, why is it like this? Let's move it to the side. There we go. And then we're going to make this a little bit smaller. Uh, we're not going to have that big of a foyer. Okay? There we go. Okay. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do also... On the back side, let's put the family room on the back side. 
but you always have two options control c and control v see you have control c and control v we're gonna call this family room family room okay and now what you're gonna do the f in here is the following family room okay next to it now there's another way to do this quicker just click on hit on here hold control and click and drag see i'm clicking and dragging clicking and dragging clicking and dragging but i'm i keep on holding control i keep on holding control click and drag click and drag click and drag see we created a lot of rooms but we're gonna we're gonna do control z this is just to show you a quicker way to create rooms okay so in this case again what we're gonna do clicking here hold control click and drag okay we're dragging okay so now in this case what we're gonna have in here is uh, kitchen we're gonna have the kitchen and dining how about that okay kitchen and dining we're gonna make this a little bit bigger we're gonna drag this room like this we're gonna drag this the tag okay there we go and then this is the foyer let's just make it longer there we go. okay foyer and then on the side what we can do let's put a garage in here in this place a garage so this is gonna be 12 what is it 12 by 14 let's put 14 in here 12 by 12 let's do for the sake of the problem there you go garage garage so all right so what we have is a first floor of a single home okay so if we have a first floor of a single home you know what let's add in here something else Le we're gonna add in here owner's bedroom owner's bed okay we're gonna make this a little bit bigger since it's um our owner's bedroom and we're gonna put in here i guess another bedroom <clears throat> first floor bedroom and not a study a study okay which is not good so we're gonna put in here a living room though. living room living room and then we're gonna put in here bedroom so the, it's gonna be owner's bed one bedroom okay we're gonna need some I guess we're gonna need another room for the bathroom here we're gonna have this 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 okay all right let's put in here bathroom bath room there we go a bathroom okay you can always drag it and uh, you can always play with the tags there we go we are gonna put in here a bathroom and then we can always put in here a closet see depending on the design of the architect see and here we can put on this side we can put instead of kitchen and dining we're gonna put in here say dining okay so this is only for the example of course the architect is going to provide the layout and what we're going to do is a heat load calculation in other words we're going to already have these drawings for example this bedroom is so big to be a only a bedroom instead of the owner's bedroom all right now from these as we as we uh, explain in the beginning the, the the properties are already defined but however from all these rooms the garage is not going to be conditioned if it's not going to be conditioned we need to change that so we're going to right click and then we have the property sheet in the property sheet we're going to say included in the calculations we're going to put no there we go that's all so it's not going to include so for the room heating of course we're gonna we're not gonna have any heating or cooling all right there we go we we, we have that already okay and then another thing is that in here we don't need this wall we need the interior wall and this interior wall because this is not conditioned this is called partition wall so for that partition wall we are we already have another 
type of wall that you can create depending on the insulation. You can have R15, R11, but that's a different insulation wall. So in that case, you go to the wall and then you change your wall typing here. You can change instead of R15, you can change it to R12 or I mean cavity insulation. R13, R11, depending, and then you can change the name of partition wall. You can create another library, okay? For now, let's, let's just leave it there because this is not the time to do that, okay? So now what we're going to do in here, since we have the first floor already, okay, the main, the main goal for this video is to show you all to how to make windows and doors, okay? So we're going to start with one window in here. So we're going to put in the exposed walls. Of course, we want this to be... Uh, to have some daylight so we're gonna put in here that window okay so remember you first have to decide to to put all the properties in the first element like i did for the bedrooms and then you can copy paste copy paste no problem so in this case we're gonna what we're gonna have is the windows right click property sheet and then this window is three by four you can always put it instead of three Point four, you can put three by four. There we go. You can always edit that. And then you're going to have shaded. No uh, head height by default is 6.67. That's okay. Flat. You can also have the option to do bay, garden, whichever. And uh, NFRC rated, it has to be yes. NFRC is the National Fenestration Rating Console. So from that, we're going to get these values of U, U value, heating and cooling and solar heat grain coefficient. But for now, let's continue. This is a very important value you have to check. Foreground reflectance is 0.20, which is by default. You can leave it there, but depending on if it's tar and gravel is 0.14 or if it's new concrete is 0.52, which is going to have more heat interference in here. In other words, the heat is going to come to the new concrete as going to get reflected to the window. So we're going to have more heat loss, more heat load. Okay. All right. So let's continue. In, in, in the tar and gravel, the, this, the heat of the sun is going to be absorbed by the black element, black component. All right. So there is not so much heat affected to the window. All right, so let's continue. That's more into a specific. So what we want to do is make a new kind of window construction type. So in the construction type, we're going to go here. As you can see, we don't have any windows. So in this case, we're going to go here and then in the library, we're going to create new. And then it's going to tell you what's the name. So for the name, we, let's put this. We're going to put low, see, low emissivity. Okay, low emissivity. There are different types of windows. You have single hung, there is double hung, casement, sliding, there's awning windows different. So in this case, let's put single. And then as we go through more and more, you can always keep on adding more. So once you create your type of window, low E single, then you can always have the choice of doing this by radio buttons or custom values so in order to make it quicker and easier because this doesn't require so many settings like the walls you can always do it in here so you have single double triple so that single pane double pane see you see in here it changes triple block skylights you can make your own library okay so for single pane, you have to see fix, operable, glass, clear, material, thickness. You can always be more specific. But in this case, we only need the U value. So that's why we're going to go for the custom values. All right. So in the custom values, what we're going to put in there is the following. So you have to know what is the U value of your window. But that depends on code. For example, DC 2017 code tells you that you need at least 0.5, see, 0.45 at least, or solar heat going coefficient, 0.36, depending where you live or where that, that's the most conservative value. But in general, you know what we're going to put? We're going to put 0.3 and we're going to put 0.2, depending on the jurisdiction, depending where you are. 
Okay, in other videos, we're going to explain what is the U value and what is the solar heat gain coefficient. But as a, as a very quick rule of thumb, the higher the U value, the higher is the more heat escapes. Okay, the more heat escapes. So you want a lower U, U, uh, U value and you want a lower solar heat gain coefficient. All right. So what we're going to have is put that and then click in here clear low e we're gonna put in here two and then frame type vinyl and then cast storm window it doesn't the type is going to be fixed or operable operable window and then apply so we're all good there we go so now that we have that construction type you can always put it in here you go low e See, and you find you the one that you just created, low E single. Okay. So after you created that, you can always, as I said, click in here and then control and drag. Control, drag, control, drag, control, drag. I'm just holding control. I'm holding control right now. I'm pressing control and then I'm just clicking and dragging. See? We already have so many windows right here. I want one in the living room and then I want one, two in the bedroom right here, right here. There we go. We have all the windows already located. I want some in here, a small one in here. If I want a small one, then you can always go to the click there, property sheet. Let's put in here, say, instead, yeah, let's say two by three. You know, you, you never know. Okay, you can always change that. There we go. All right, so windows are all created. Now, what about for the door? So you're going to go for the door in here. Let's put it in the main entrance and the entry door. Let's put a door that is three feet. How about that? And then right click and the right click. You have no doors. So since we don't have doors, you create your library. Once you create all your libraries, you just have to choose which one is better for you. Okay. So in this case, what we're going to do is create a new, new door. So this is going to be called entry door. Yeah. Okay. Entry door. Okay. So for the entry door, you have two options. Again, you, you have the option of going radio buttons or custom layers or costume values okay all right so in the costume values you can always put the what type of door you want okay so based on code or based on department of energy they recommend that this has to be before okay yeah something like a glitch sometimes that happens okay so Let's continue with this and then we're gonna we're gonna go here again and then uh what we're gonna do is door entry so in this case what we're gonna do is just copy and then we're gonna name this entry door there we go if we're gonna name that entry door what we're gonna have is the u value so the u value for our door is going to be 0 0.76 for heating and cooling, it's going to be the same thing, 0.176, all right? The cooling CLTD group, it's going to be GA, a storm type. You have wood in here. We can put wood, we can put metal or none, whichever is better for you. Okay, configuration, wood in general, and then insulation, our value is 6. It's 5 or it's 6, so we're putting a 6 as a being more conservative. Okay, so in infiltration type, you have single without vestibule, which is the case, most of the cases in, in residential. Okay, you also have the option to put a vestibule or double without a vestibule, double with a vestibule. Okay, but you always want to take the worst case scenario or be conservative. So single without a vestibule. All right, so we're going to put in here apply and then uh, Take that, take that. Okay, so in other words, this door is going to be entry door from the library that we have created. All right. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks so much.